this is how all the paintings start. Plain canvas. And today I want to share the journey that I go through every time I paint something. The first step is to figure out what I want to paint. And sometimes it's just emotions and what I feel and what I want to draw. And then most of the times it's what I'm inspired, what I see um, and what I want to recreate in my own way. And today we're doing Kuldiga. It's a city in Latvia and it is so beautiful. <laughs> to do is just paint memories and special moments for example this one this painting i love because it's just a memory we went kayaking and i took a photo and i combined some of the photos together and it's the coolest this is also a representation of uh, just taking your own approach it was um still life still here it's a prompt challenge every week they give you a photo and then you replicate it and this was my replica and i love that i i usually do digital art but this time i was feeling like going wild and i love it i love how it's just just something new already did the sketch uh i did this with markers i really loved the photo and honestly i never do sketches I'll share with you. Most of the sketches, either I don't have them. This is just a coincidence. When I'm making a video, it looks so professional. This is one of the sketches that I'm doing for this painting. It's right there. And this is the sketch that I used. It's super simple, just sketching a bare minimum. I put these people in the middle and I try to draw some kind of a grid to see that it's uh, there's some kind of a composition and it's not a bit weird. I'm gonna do the background, all the sky and some greens, and then start on the bridge. <laughs> update we have and I was painting the bridge and I realized that the gap between here is much smaller than here so we need to fix this. This orange red and yellow ochre created the best color for brick bridge. I am so excited. I'm in the studio and we have like a thunderstorm outside, no lights, no electricity. I have these lights and these LED candles, but I want to share the updates, how it's been looking. Here, as you can see, I love the bridge, it turned out wonderfully and it's pretty dark in here, so it's hard to see, but this is super dark blue. And I just made kind of like guidelines of where the grass, like the, the grass would be. And the people, I will do these, I will do them at the end. But this is how it looks. I tried to distinguish that these are trees and bushes 
and then uh, this is just like you know strokes up and the same here so that you can tell the difference because the colors are the same i love the same colors hello chickens today we are finishing the work not much is left just some details on the trees and the people i was just thinking what color should i do for the clothing and i think i'm going with pink and gray or i'm still thinking i don't know i haven't decided on the colors yet but i need to do these people so i'll think what goes together in this and uh, and then we're done look at this beauty i put all these people and these are street lights um these are some new updates then we have the people here uh just very simple i didn't want i didn't want them to be the main focus i wanted the bridge to be the focus i added also this here just a new island of grass because they have a bit more than i painted now the only thing that is left is just adding some details with crayons while this dries out are you ready for the final reveal we need a drum roll Ta-da! Do you love it or what? So this is the sketch that I was working with. And this is the final. I love how it turned out. It's so gloomy. And it's because the last time that we were there, it was raining. And we have some texture here, texture here. Also added some crayons, so this is not that boring, and uh, I love it here as well. We'll wrap this up. I enjoyed this painting so much. Sometimes doing paintings is overwhelming, but just starting out with a clear idea and having a sketch and just having breaks as well in between sometimes helps. Usually I like to do paintings just in one sitting, but uh, lately it's been a busy life, so I do when I can and paint when I have time and um, I can't wait to put it up on my wall in the home.